So guys, today we're talking about the difference between 500 megs of test versus 250 megs of test for a first cycle. The question arised from a, one of my videos, a comment came upon uh, something like, what can I expect to get from 250 megs of test? Um, right off the bat, my answer was not much. Uh, why? Well, because a lot of the times when people get prescribed TRT, they're going to fall in the range uh, between 150 to about 250. A lot of the guys fall in the range of 200 to 250. That's sort of the standard um, range. Like, not a lot of times you'll, you'll get prescribed less than that. Meaning that if you're getting prescribed 200 to 250 megs of test, being replacement dosage, you're essentially replacing what you've already got. So if you're like 20, let's say if you're 20 years old and your natural testosterone is at like 800, like a thousand nanograms per deciliter, and you're replacing it with 250 megs of test equivalent to the exact same amount, or just a little bit over, you're essentially shortchanging yourself because what you're doing in a way is you're not really making much progress off that because you're just above baseline, meaning that you're shutting yourself down for nothing. So if you're gonna do 250 megs, you may as well not do it because you're for the benefit that you're get, gonna get, um, it's not a lot. So what's gonna happen is you're just replacing what you've already got. Again, like anything in life, it's very much person dependent. What I mean by that is that it's individual based and what your circumstances are. So it turns out that the individual in the comment section uh, was actually 20 years old and his uh, test was in the 300 nanograms per deciliter levels. He said, I'm not really interested in making muscle gains, I just want to feel normal. In which I responded, in that case, if you just want to feel normal, then yes, by all means, you're going to feel hell of a lot better on 250 megs of test. Now, your muscle gains are not going to be dramatic, but if your test level is at 300 at the moment, then yeah, you will see difference. Uh, in the way you perform, in the way you feel, sleep, everything like that. So in that case, you will see an improvement. However, again, um, if you're looking for a cycle or a blast gains, then a 250 megs is purely, it's just simply not enough to provide you with that level of gains. Side effects wise, what is the difference between the side effects of 250 to 500 megs of test? Now, with a 500 megs of test, you're going to be aromatizing a lot more. And I've had that, uh, a couple of people say that. Well, I don't want to be taking 500 megs of test because I'll be aromatizing a lot more. Well, that's what you've got aromatase inhibitors for. That's why you've got estrogen control. Now, if you're taking something like Trend, for example, it's a perfectly fine scenario for you to be taking 250 megs of test or 200 and then topping that up with trend or other compounds, or if you're doing a test and decker cycle, yeah, in that case, it's a perfectly fine scenario. However, if you're taking a first cycle, I believe that there's nothing better than 500 megs of test, um, purely because you know you want to see how your body reacts to testosterone, and your body produces testosterone naturally. So I just feel like for a first cycle, there's no better scenario than 500 megs of test. Um, and I believe that since your first cycle is going to be your best cycle, I believe in dosages that work. I don't believe that someone uh, who's a beginner should you know, go ahead and do uh, a 700 to 1000 milligrams of testosterone on the first cycle. What I do believe is that you should be taking a dosage that works and that you're making the most out of your cycle. 250 megs of test is just of a baseline, so you're not going to be making the most out of your cycle, which is why I believe that 500 mix is probably the best dosage for what you're getting. It's the minimum, most effective dosage um, for the best amount of gains that you're gonna get. Least side effects, best gains, best scenario. So that said, I hope that clears things out. Again, if you're purely looking to just feel better and just feel like you're still like 18, and you know, when your testosterone is at, is at like its peak, then a TRT dosage is perfect for you. However, if you're one of those guys that is looking for a cycle and is thinking that, you know, instead of taking 500 milligrams of testosterone, because let's say you can't afford it, or you're thinking that you're gonna get less side effects, you're purely shutting yourself down in vain. You're, you're shutting yourself down for nothing. And 
you know, there's no point. Or people that start with 250 milligrams, they say, well, I'm gonna start my first cycle with 250 milligrams. I'm gonna run that for five weeks and then I'm gonna up it to like 300 and 400 and 500 to finish off and then taper down. There's no point to do that. Start with 500, let it build up and then do your cycle at that dosage and then come down, c come off, no taper. You don't need to taper. Why start with a dosage that is at the level that you're currently at? So you're shutting yourself down for getting no benefits. You're shutting yourself down and getting no benefit from it. So hopefully that clears things out. Like I said, um, there's no point doing 250 megs over 500. That is purely my opinion. Again, that is not me encouraging anyone to be taking stuff. I am just giving you my experience and my opinion on the matter because I get a lot of people that message me with that question. So I um, hope that answers the question and I'll talk to you next time.